We begin with a family desperate to find their little girl taken during a violent night. Good evening and thank you for joining us at 11. I'm Mike Duffy. Now this is Little Winter Smith. The FBI and law, a number of law enforcement agencies searching tonight for the two year old. Investigators tell us Winter's mother and the suspect, Rashad Trice, began fighting late Sunday evening. The mother was stabbed multiple times and Trice took off with the toddler, leaving the Lansing area. Trice was then spotted in St. Clair Shores this morning and after a chase and a crash was arrested. But police say Little Winter was not in the car and Trice would not tell police Winter's whereabouts. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast spoke with the child's father and the desperate search for Winter happening right now in Lansing. Well, the latest update we heard from police tonight is that Winter's 22 year old mother is in stable condition after being stabbed by her ex boyfriend multiple times. And although that suspect was captured in St. Clair Shores and was spotted in Detroit, the search is still ongoing here in Lansing to find Winter. Late into the evening, the search is still on near the Lansing apartment where two year old Winter Smith was last seen. A dive team searched the water, drones hovered in the sky, and deputies combing the area on foot, finding no trace of the missing toddler. I think I had it to see it for myself. They did drone, helicopter, divers. I didn't know this stuff at first, right? Winter's grandmother, Sharon Eddings, drove with family to Lansing from Detroit, wanting to help in the search. After the attack late Sunday evening, it's believed the ex-boyfriend of Winter's mother, Rashad Trice, took Winter with him as he fled to Detroit. But when arrested in St. Clair Shores, Winter wasn't in the car, nowhere to be found. It was since last night, I couldn't sleep. Edding's son, A.J. Smith, who is Winter's father, is a football player at UT Martin in Tennessee. Now on his way back to Detroit, he Zoomed with us from the Nashville airport, wanting nothing more than to hold his daughter safe and sound. Winter, she's an amazing daughter. She's smart. She can count uh, all the way to 40. She's at ABC. She can say some of them backwards. The FBI is leading the case with help from multiple police departments. It's unclear where Winter might be, whether still in Lansing or Metro Detroit. But law enforcement is exhausting every avenue, and Winter's family isn't giving up. I just want to tell everybody, stay faithful, don't give up. We can see a miracle. I believe that. And this is a relatively recent picture of Winter. She has braids that go down about to her shoulder in length. She was also last seen in a white t-shirt with a rainbow on it. If you know anything about her whereabouts, contact the FBI at 1-800-CALL-FBI. And the FBI is warning that anyone who could be assisting in hiding Winter could face some serious charges. In Lansing, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News. Okay, Brett, let's hope someone does know something. And tonight, Lansing police releasing the route that they believe the suspect Rashad Trice took to St. Clair Shores. Starting along I-96 from Lansing to Detroit, then I-94 to St. Clair Shores. Police are asking if anyone saw Trice with Winter along that route to call 1-800-CALL-FBI immediately. And stay with 7 Action News on air and online for continuing coverage of this developing story. You can find the latest updates on our website at WXYZ.com.